brain. Pfft, why the hell would he want to do that? Blessed sacrament that has made my life so rich. Hey, Ned. Ain't no party like a laddie. Party cause a laddie. Party don't stop. Yeah, I gotta work tomorrow. I, I better go. I dated the woman in that suit for three months. Then she left me for the guy who cleans the vomit off the roller coaster. I know you're all wondering why you're here. The fact is, I'm dying <gasps> to tell you that I have adopted. Oh. That's right, I've got a new plasma screen HD TV. If you're not careful, I might just spend the rest of my life on your couch. <laughs> you don't mean that literally, of course. <laughs> That picture quality. You can see the soulless emptiness in that shark's eyes. Dad, please come home. We miss you. Oh, is that a high-def TV? Well, right there's a commercial with a dancing cold sore. Look out! Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> wow, I can actually feel the heat. This is my alone time. Stupid non-plasma TV picture so blurry. So I entered a contest where the first prize is a plasma screen TV. Oh, March! I love you, I love you, I love you! Yellow? Congratulations, Mr. Simpson. You've won. The big screen TV? <laughs> no, no one wins that. You won third prize, a tour of the Fox Network in Los Angeles, California. Here's where we make the best damn sports show, period. Please don't lean out of the tram, sir. You might get hurt. Oh, don't lean out of the tram. Ah, no! Mother Flippers, what's this show about? Uh, this is a reality program, dear, where we take wives from two very different families and they trade places for a month. So, what's the prize on this wife swap show? Oh, about enough to buy a new plasma TV. <gasps> It's just a product I've been coveting. Pick us, pick us. What are you doing, Homer? I'm signing us up for a reality show where we trade you to another family. Wow, that might be interesting. Ma'am, I've done a lot of these. Everybody has fun, no one gets hurt, and you make a lot of money you could really use. And if you say yes now, it'll make a great act break. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. How was that? Uh, we'll get it later. Bart, when did you get your tenure? I got my tenure right here. Yeah? Well, I have full tenure. <laughs> you can call me Charlie, but do not call me late when there are scones about. <laughs> oh, it's a little British humour. I'll bet the twist is he's gay. Our family has so many flaws. Why must we share them with the world? Because we'll be on TV and earn enough money to buy a TV. TV! You know, you don't seem like the money-hungry semi-stripper who's usually on Fox. Why do you do it? Well, I thought there was no further way I could humiliate my husband. And then this opportunity came along. Charles hasn't satisfied me in years. Yeah, that's how I feel about Notre Dame football. Cruel, dusty years. I don't know why I ever married that woman. Really? You manage a whole office? Yes. Y yes. Yes, I do, actually. Well, that's very impressive. This year, I am thinking of Conference Room C. Ooh, that leaves A and B available for overflow. Well done. Well, my mom says, why bother punishing me? I never learn. Young man, I'm going to turn that cartoon into homework. Help me, cameraman. Now, Homer, would you care to give your report on CSI Miami? There's this guy that got killed. I think it was in Miami, so CSI Miami investigated it. That's wonderful. Indeed. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a Mandarin Chinese lesson. Would you like to hear a joke? As long as it's not a knock-knock joke. I always ruin them by saying, come in. No, no. This joke is actually quite funny. So, the genie says, I'll give you three wishes, but whatever you get, your wife gets double. OK? Remember that? Oh, how nice for her. So the man says, <laughs> beat me half to death. <laughs> it's funny, don't you get it?
little amusing, don't you think? No. Me either. Spousal abuse. It's, uh, it's a real problem. It's not funny. It's tragic, if anything, so... Well, I like the genie part. That was fun. One more kind word from her, and I am completely smitten. Ooh, your toaster takes bagels. How ritzy. And there we have it. What's that delicious smell? I'm burning all your underwear. Oh. I was just sitting around drinking vermouth and contemplating how just when you're drowning in a pit of despair, life can throw you a beautiful blue life preserver. Where's Ben? The housekeeper took him out for a walk. How long do we have to stay here? Till I'm sick of drinking these. So, you see, we have the whole house to ourselves. Oh, who left this here? Let me just breathe your scent for a moment before I play. I was feeling blue. Blue just like your hair, you see. Blue just like the moon. Yeah, Marge, your dreams can't come true. Lady, when you go away, I feel like I could die. But lady, just like Lady Die, be my princess tonight. But don't die, don't die. I'm sorry, but I love Homer. Oh, of course you do. He's a real man, not like me. Mm, they're there. God, I miss Homer. I miss him too. What is it about him that is so damned irresistible? The fuel of the future. <laughs> Test drive the Electorus today and get a free gift. You're faking this to get the gift, aren't you? But I like the nice things you said about me. Thinking of saying goodbye to gas? You betcha. Uh, Bart? Well, it's always nice to meet people concerned about the environment. What kind of mint? Lag, we're in an electric car. <laughs> See, everything's fine. Salt water seems to be good for it. <laughs> Can I have my prize now? Certainly. Well, here it is, so we can open it and find out now. Perfect. Aw, oh, movie ticket. Who cares? Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson is just a guy, Marge. No different than me or Lanny. People Magazine says he's a devoted father, goes to church every week, and likes to fix things around the home. Let's make love. Uh, okay. Easy, easy there, Buster. But how did they know? <laughs> Should have brought the camera. Also with me tonight are the dynamic duo, William Milo and Robin Hanna, who greenlighted all of Shaquille O'Neal's movies, including Kazan. Welcome to our test screening of Mel Gibson's directorial follow-up to Braveheart, a remake of the Jimmy Stewart classic, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. And change the movie based on your suggestions. Any uh, questions? Is Mel Gibson here? No, sorry, but like all celebrities, he's in Hollywood attending benefits for various diseases. You know, you really don't have to make this trip, Mel. The screening's gonna go fine, believe me. I don't know. I think this movie was a big mistake. All I do is talk for two hours. I don't shoot anybody. What was I thinking? What, even better than the original? Because that was pretty fabulous, too. And he fought for them once. For the only reason any man ever does. At least the Jimmy Stewart version had that giant rabbit who ran the savings and loans. Shh. Oh, Excellent. That man knows how to filibuster. Well, that was a stinker. I liked it. Will you stop acting so jealous? Listen, I don't want to get spotted by the crowd, so I'm going to take a leak behind the dumpster. <gasps> Hi, everybody. <gasps> Hi, Mr. Gibson. Thanks for coming, folks. And don't be afraid to be completely truthful when you fill out your opinion cards. I'll be reading yours personally. <laughs> waste my time in front of it, stupid. Appreciate it. Come on, they can't all have loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it, despite absence of flubber. Glavin? Oh, here we go. Your movie was more boring than church. Maybe he's the only person with the guts to tell me the truth. Door, Marge. <laughs> Listen, Captain, I'm tired of Hollywood pretty boys like you and Jack Valenny thinking you can have any woman you want. I want you to help me make it better. Really? You want my help? Marge, did you hear that? 
Mel Gibson wants my help. Mel Gibson. The problem I have is people love me so much they never criticize me. I speed all the time, but cops never give me a ticket. If I don't pay my taxes, the IRS pays them for me. You had me at hello. I didn't say hello. Hollywood, here we come. Oh, minivan. Oh, boy, you celebrities sure know how to live. What is this, Toyota Previa? Dodge Caravan. Sweet. I hear all the stars eat at a place called Planet Hollywood. Can I stay with you, Dad? Sorry, son, but we're going to be very busy. Mel's movie really stinks. I don't think so. Uh, for those of you who have always wanted to see the famous Brown Derby restaurant, Ooh. that's where it used to be. Uh, 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 now here's your biggest problem of all. The filibuster scene? That was Jimmy Stewart's favorite. And seats with beverage holders, but mainly action. You really think the end is boring? Oh, Mel, it's the most boring piece of garbage I've ever seen. According to the map, this house is owned by the dog from Frasier. And that's where Ellen DeGeneres and Anne Heche live. We're lesbians! It's missing some sound effects, and the computer guys haven't added the twinkle in my eye. Well, you're coming off desperate. Roll it, Louie! And I'm gonna stay right here and fight for this lost cause. Somebody will listen to me. Somebody will... <laughs> <laughs> In favor, say die. I'm the President of the United States. You impaled a United States Senator with the American flag. Why did Mr. Smith kill everybody? It was Symbolism. He was mem. All right, all right, I'm sorry. But this film is never going to see the light of day. <gasps> Look, they're towing away a Range Rover. <gasps> Give us the film! Shut up, old lady, and stop kicking me there. Watch out, coming through! Oh, no! I'm getting too old for this crap. It's... Hey, come on, turn that down under frown upside down. We're not finished yet! Homer, what are you doing here? No time talk, need steel car. Must say powerful but controversial movie. Before Lethal Weapon 2, I never thought there could be a bomb in my toilet. But now I check every time. Oh, what the heck. Let's hit the road. Shove over, Junior. <laughs> I gotta take my picture in this car so I can show Milhau. Take the wheel, Lisa. But my dad. Can... I said you. We've got him now. <laughs> Go! Go! Homer, are you okay? I think so. No. Let's get ready to meet our public. How could you eat that goo? You don't know what galaxy it's from. If I can keep down Arby's, I can keep down you. 
Must eat, then poop, then eat some more, then eat while pooping. Son, let me have a lick at you. Homer! You won't eat my stuffed peppers, but you'll eat our son? Food! Teenagers! The flames are sailing in my juices! I'll savor you! Beer battered Germans! Must eat more fat people. Thank God I'm in America. Baby lights fat! <laughs> I used to think these shirts were just for fat slobs. Hide a hole, Blobberino. Homer? Hmm? Starting tomorrow, no bread before dinner. Homer? Don't sell me an outhouse and tell me it's the Taj Mahal. Yeah, Homer, stop doing that. It's time to open up a can of honesty. Homer, your family's here. And you gotta help me help them help you help me help you. Marge, I missed you. All this eating has put me in the mood for a little loving. Dad, you're eating Dr. Phil. Marge, to keep you in my life, I'd do anything. There must be some way to turn my problem into a positive for the community. Hmm. I got a bad feeling about this, Blue. Get in there. Finally, I'd like to announce that starting Monday, this show will be broadcast in HDTV. Here's how I look. Huh? Whoa, Krusty's prop room. Cool, it's that clown car all those midgets drowned in. Krusty, what's that monster? It's the Golem of Prague. <laughs> Legendary defender of the Jewish people. A rabbi created this magic creature out of humble clay. The Golem would perform any task that was written on a scroll and placed in its mouth. Come to my house at midnight. Bart, there's something I have to tell you, father to son. I passed out on your turtle and killed it. Someday you'll thank me. Hey, Millhouse. Can't you read my writing? I didn't say kick Homer's walls. What's going on? No! Oh! That's better. Well, I think your golem doesn't like hurting people, and I'll prove it. Speak. This is the voice I've got? Sounds like I should be selling egg creams in Brighton Beach. That's what we call Jewish humor. Do you feel bad about what you did? Of course I feel bad. My stomach feels like it's hosting the Chabad telethon. And Norm Crosby's going long. Hey, boy, where's your mud buddy? I have a little job for him. <laughs> oh, he was driving me crazy, so I sent him on an errand. Ah! Whoa! I feel so guilty. The cure to any man's problems is a good relationship. Hmm. Yeah, get him a woman. That'll end his misery. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, oh. You got a surprise for me? The surprise would be if I found some good live theater in this town. Then people could have some drinks, watch Fiddler. Very nice. Will you shut up? <gasps> is she for me? Hanukkah came early this year. Which it sometimes does. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Ugh, what's with this outfit? It looks like a lion ate a parrot and then threw up. I now pronounce you monster and whatever you are.
What's so great about this depression? Well, I like how everything's sepia toned. Makes me feel all nostalgic. Reports are coming in of giant metal cylinders landing on the outskirts of major American cities. <laughs> cylinders? Astronomers say the ominous capsules originated from Earth's closest neighbor. I'm in the small town of Grover's Mill, where a crowd is gathered around one of the strange Martian cylinders. It's opening. A tentacle is emerging. <laughs> it's burning people alive. <laughs> Okay, boys, we're under attack. Let's drive them out of town the way we did with the Irish. Hey, I'm Irish! Oh! Now they're riding horses in the rain. Before we all die, one last selection from the Nathan Newley Orchestra. I'm young and healthy. Gee, Mr. Wells, this sure is a swell show you're putting on for the folks. Burn everything! We have nothing to fear but the aliens and their vastly superior killing technology. Boys, we have to assume our guns are useless. Throw them in the lake. Wait, I have an idea. The Martians are only killing humans, so we should pretend to be animals. Ingenious! Yeah! Oh, 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 oh. What is everyone doing? We're outsmarting the Martians. Aw. Aw. Martians, you do know that radio broadcast was a hoax. Stupid. I'm proud of what I achieved during my rioting. It was either kill him or kill no one. Ha <laughs> ha.